In today's video, we're going to talk about ways to kill broadleaf weed in your lawn. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Alright, today we're back at Ash's place and we're looking at his lawn here today. So we're going to be spraying some weeds out of his lawn today. So we've got quite a bit of broadleaf, let me just show you. As you can see, it is infested everywhere with broadleaf weeds. You're dirty dying. So today we're going to be using Camber M, which has some dicamber and some MCPA in it. So that's great for most of your turf types. Now the only turf type it's not really going to be great on is going to be your buffalo. So what you want to use is something from bromoxanol, bromoxanol, bromoxanol in it, and that's going to be a lot better on your turf. Diacamba actually affects buffalo quite badly and will yell it off and can burn your grass. So don't use diacamba or camber M on your buffalo. So today we're just going to be spot spraying the lawn. We're not going to actually be doing a blanket spray over the whole area. And the reason for this is so that we save some chemical and it's just better for the environment to be putting out less chemical. And if there's not a big amount of weeds, you're going to be safe and do it the right way. So over this area here, there's not too many weeds, just a bit of marshmallow and some, there's a little bit of exalus as well, and some clover, that's what I was looking for, one that everyone loves. And over the other side, there's pretty similar weeds as well, some dandelion, some plantain, all your broadleaf stuff, which Camber M is gonna knock pretty well. So as I said, we're just spraying broadleaf weeds today. If you wanna get your grassy weeds, you probably need something like DSMA or something a little bit stronger, which I don't recommend putting on new grass at this stage, just cause it's a bit of a stronger chemical. Always remember too, when you're applying chemicals like this, you always read the label beforehand. So get the label out, check it, and back up what you're gonna be doing. Now today we're using Camber M, as I said, and we're gonna also be using that blue spray dye, which you can see when I was mixing up the chemical. It gets all over your hands and stuff and can be quite staining. So be careful with that stuff, but it's not, it's not bad for the environment. It's sort of like food dye, it'll, it'll wash away pretty quickly. If you get it on concrete, we'll wash it away within a couple of days. We're using Camber M today, so since we're spot spraying, I'm going to be putting in about, with the Camber M, I'm going to do about 50 mil to about five litres of water. Now I'm not going to use all that, but they've got some weeds out the back as well, which they want to spray, so they can use it for that as well. But if you're doing it in like a five litre one like I am, because I'm spot spraying, I don't need a knapsack on my back, you just put about 50 mil in there, because the application rate is 100 mil per 100 metre square. So when you're spraying with these sprays, when you've got the fan tip nozzle, make sure you've got a fan tip nozzle. Um, make sure you spray it knee height so you get a nice fine mist on top of your weeds. So make sure if you are spraying you've got some long sleeve shirt, a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt on, some pants, some boots, oh, I can't get that on. and some glasses as well. You're supposed to wear gloves but I forgot. Now a question that I get quite all the time is when can you mow before or after? A lot of people like to mow beforehand just so it actually exposes the weeds because generally grass is going to grow a little bit higher than your weeds anyway so it's always a good idea to mow beforehand if you can. Afterwards I'd wait a couple of days, two to three days. On the label it says a week but you don't have to wait that long. Do it within two to three days after you have sprayed. Now you also want to make sure there's not too much wind around. There's a little bit of wind today but we're just going to a sneak and get away with it. There's not too much though, there's quite a bit of blockages in the way of well like a house over that side where we're spraying. So there's not going to be really too much wind hitting but make sure you do it on a day that's not too windy. Now make sure also when you are doing this it's not going to rain within the next 24 hours because we want it to stay nice and dry for that long so the actual chemical can go through the, the leaf because you're only doing a foliar spray so go through the leaf and go down to the roots. If you're going to get some water within those 24 hours it's less likely you're going to get a kill on that as well so you'll have to reapply a bit later thanks guys for watching chuck a like down there if you enjoyed that subscribe if you haven't already and you have a good week hey check out this weird little mushroom ah, looks like cat spear or something it's disgusting should i eat it ah.